to get in a bit late. No, it's okay. Thank you. The thing is, my assignment outside started, so I go around. I had to go a very far place today for the session. Okay. So um, back home in traffic is very challenging in Bangalore. Oh yeah, I understand. Yeah, you, you know we can we can we can we can start at ten o'clock too. We can start at like you know ten yeah. half an hour later. That's fine. That's fine with me. No, no, no. I will plan from tomorrow onwards. Today I started a bit late. That's why everything got late. Okay, okay, I know. I will be there by nine tomorrow. Okay. Uh, yes, we'll uh, last uh, session. I think I could not take it forward at all because uh, you, I was not audible and there were some interruptions on my network. Okay. Uh, we were doing the lesson on subqueries. You remember I had given a question on subquery, and I, I I was asking you how how shall we answer this question? I will just open a file. Yes, I will just open a file and type it for you. Let us understand how do we answer this question. Okay. We did the join. Yes. So I had asked you to give. I had asked you something like this. Listening. List all employees who work who work in the first department. Yes, I remember. This was a question. How do we get to know who are the employees working in the first department? When we look at when we look into employee table, we get to, we don't have any department names. Yes. When we look into the department table, we get to know who, which is the department associated with the research department. Yes. Yeah. So what is it we need? Okay, now let's come. How are we going to answer this? What is it we need? We need details of those employees who work in the research department. So we need data only from one table. We don't want data from from two tables. We need data from only one. So. Yes. It is just like we, are, a, we are not yeah. going to write. Yes, yeah, yeah, tell me. We can just search for the table itself, I guess, for the research department. Uh, but which table you are searching? You are searching uh, not. You cannot get it in employee because employee does not have the department name. Okay. Okay. Uh, looking. Yes. So you why don't you put these two queries? Why don't you put these two queries? Select star from E and P. Select star from D P D. Yes, yeah, so I, I I tried and then yeah, there's nothing there's nothing with research department. Yes. So what shall we do? Once how we answer this question? Let's break it into pieces. Once we get to know which is that department associated with the research, we need we can very easily pull out the details of those employees there. Select staff and EMP where department number equals to which is that department which is associated with research department. Yeah. We don't know. So that there is a query which can help you get that. How do we know? Select department number from the EPP. Yes, department name equals to research. Yeah, yeah. Yes, this is all about nesting one select statement within another select statement, and yeah. this is called as subquery. So here yeah. is a lesson on subqueries or nested queries. Yeah. Subqueries or nested queries. One query within the other. So what is the story all about subqueries and nested queries? The inner query is called a subquery. It works first. It gives an answer to its outer. Based on this answer, the outer query is going to get executed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. called as subqueries or nested queries. One within the other. So, so how many levels? All, no, the yeah. department name should always be in like caps or like big. Uh, just. Yes, because data is in uppercase, right? Or if data is case sensitive. The yes. data in the table is in uppercase. If the data was in lowercase, then we would have entered it in lowercase. Okay. Right? Data is case sensitive. Okay, yes, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So why why don't you do this, Chris? Why don't you do this? Then we'll answer some similar questions. No, no, I I I did. Actually, I did. You yes. did, did uh, it? Yeah. Okay, now uh, yes, yes. Now let us list list okay, all employees who earn salary. Firm salary greater than average salary of clerk. Average salary of clerk. You understood the question? Yes. So to answer this question, we need average salary of clerk. Yes. How do we find out average salary of clerk? Select average salary is a function we are calling. Remember the group function yeah. yes. from yes. EMP, yeah. where job equal to clerk. So mm -hmm. here we are getting the average salary of clerk. Yeah. Once we know what is the average salary of clerk. We can write the main query. Select staff from EMP where yeah. salary greater than this. We have answered the question. 
Yeah. Everything I'm giving with a question, question and the answer. So yeah. no question is going to tell you that you have to write a subquery for this. Yeah. Okay. It's only the question, what you understand from the question, how you break your question. Yes. Okay. This will lead to joins or subqueries. This will lead to joins or subqueries. Okay. Yeah. I understand now. Yes. Yes. So, mm -hmm. how many levels of nesting you can do? You can have 255 levels of nesting in subqueries. One within within that one query, within that one more, within that one more. So, we can have 255 levels of nesting. Oh, wow. But so no you nest time taken. Yes, 255 levels. Yeah, what I have done, I have just done one level of nesting. Yes. So, that's a lot, one that's within a lot. that. So, that's a lot of, of subqueries, right? Yes, a lot of subqueries. Okay, one within that, one more, within that, one more, within that, one more. Like that, you will have multiple subqueries. Yes. Okay, uh, but uh, it's only the question again which is going to make you do all that. Yes, yeah. Okay, okay. So now, what are the types of subqueries? Yes, based on what is returned by a subquery, a subquery is categorized as a single value subquery or a multi value subquery. Okay. So a subquery can return no value, no value, nothing. When a subquery is returning nothing, the auto query is not going to work at all. Yes. So because I think it will give, it, 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 it give you like zero, zero effect because nothing, no, nothing will be the output. Nothing, okay. nothing. Yeah. Just the column names of the auto query. That's all. No data will be seen. Okay. Subquery is returning single value. When a yeah. subquery is returning single value. Yes, in this example, the subquery is returning single value, average of sales from EMP, their job is equal to plus. The subquery is returning single value. Yes. So we are using we are using operator like greater than to handle a subquery returning a single value. I'm sorry, can you repeat that again please? We are using what what is that we are going to use? See, we are having our main query. We are having a column. I'm comparing a column with a value. Column is compared with an operator operator and the value. What is this value? This is a value which is returned from the subquery. Yes, okay, yes. This is a value which is returned from a subquery. So yes. what's the subquery return and what is the column value you're comparing? Both of them should be same data type, right? See, yes. I'm comparing salary with average of sales. I'm comparing department number with department number. So they should yes. be compatible, right? Only then it is going to work. You cannot yes. compare a number with a character. You cannot compare a character with a date. Okay, yes. what you want to compare should be a compatible data type. Right? Okay, yes. first point is clear. Second point, we are comparing one value, only one value, one column with one value, right? Yes. We are not comparing multiple columns. I am only comparing department number with something. Yes. Okay, I, I, so this query, the inner query cannot be select department number, comma, department name. This is going to be wrong, Krishna. I get it. Yes. See the inner query. Yes. The inner query, they are writing two fields. This yes. cannot be happening. Yes. This is going to be give us an error because we are comparing one column with the two values. What is coming from the subquery, this is wrong. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. Okay? Yes. Yeah. So, based on what the subquery is going to return, we are going to categorize them as single value subquery and multi value subquery. Let's do a few more examples. So, we have done two. Let me give you two more. Let's all employees. List all employees reporting to Blake means what? Reporting to Blake. If the question is reporting to Blake, how are we going to answer this? Yeah, I think uh, so. Let's start from. Oh well, let's uh, let let's start with subquery, right? So let's uh, list. Yes, uh, exactly. Select all uh, all employees. Uh, select from EMP where uh, reporting. Uh, you know, where manager is where, where manager is equal to Blake. Uh, but we don't have a manager names, right? Okay. What do we have in the employee field? Is it reporting or we do have manager ID. We don't no, have yeah, manager, manager names. Okay, yeah. Okay. We don't so. have manager names. We have manager ID only. Oh so you so, so you want so you want to have, so you oh, want to have sub, sub subqueries in a subquery then? No no no. Uh so because we need we to write, we need, we need to answer first the ID first, and then uh, 
and then we yes. need to get a name for it. We need Mary. to get the idea of Blake. We yes. need to get the idea of Blake. Correct, yes. Krish? Once we get the idea of Blake, we can get all the employees who are reporting to that ID? Yes. So how do we get the employee ID of Blake? Select. Select. EMP AMO from EMP. Yeah. Where? E name equal to Blake. Oh, okay, that yeah, okay, yeah, okay. This is, e okay, yeah. This is how you get the employee. Yeah. Okay. You get the employee number of Blake. If yeah. somebody is reporting to Blake, what will happen? This employee number would appear in the manager feed. Select yeah. staff from EMP. Then MPR equal to this. Yes. Yes, that's the idea. Mm. This is how we are going to answer the question. Yes. Subquery uh, returning single value. Subquery returning multiple values. What are yeah. subqueries? Nested query. One query within the other query. Yeah. So here, yeah. the inner query works first. Always the inner query works first. It gives an answer to the outer. Based on that answer, the outer query is going to get executed. Yeah. Template yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay, now if you have, as of now we have only one Blake in the employee table. So, okay, hold on, select, select employee number from employee. Very name, okay, yeah, very name is called, okay. Gotcha. Right, Blake? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes, yes. if we had more than one employee, in, employee whose name is Blake, what would have happened? As of now we have only one Blake. If we had more than one Blake, what would have happened? Uh, the query would have returned. Multiple, uh, multiple, uh, and it, it won't work. The, uh, the, uh, yes. the query would not work. Because the subquery multiple, would have returned multiple, multiple employee numbers? Yes. The subquery then, would have returned multiple employee numbers? Yes. Yes. And then, and then okay. it, it'll, it'll, it'll try, it'll, yeah, it'll yes. try to, yeah, it'll try to manage with, we'll try to like see the result with the uh, one column and it will not result, come with any result out. Yeah, it will give you, it will give us an error because the subquery yes. is returning multiple values. We are comparing it with a single column value, single yes. value, right? Manager equal to. So yes. when a subquery is returning multiple values, now let's go. If for subquery is returning multiple values, what are we going to do? For subquery returning multiple values. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are using operators like in, all, any. Subquery is returning multiple values. We are using operators like in, all, and any. Mm -hmm. So, how will in be used? In will take set of values where department number in something. How do we use yeah. all and any? We can use all and any like this. Greater yes. than all, something, set of values, less than all, okay? Yes. Greater than any? Yes. Less than any. Like this, we will use the operators if a subquery has to return multiple values. Mm -hmm. Now, let's do an example on this. List all employees who return, who earn salary, greater than average salary of any of the department. So what is it we need, Chris? We need every department's average salary. Do you agree with me? Yes. So subquery is returning multiple values. We use these kind of operators. So see the question. I purposefully put this question at this stage because only then I can have an example of a subquery returning multiple values. So yes. what is it we need? We need every department's average cell. So how do we find out every department's average cell? Select average cell from EMP. What to do? Group by department number. Group by department number is going to give you every department's average cell. Department wise average cell. We can get it using group by. Group yeah. by department number. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. So here you have three values. You have three average cells. So now what is that we need? Select all those employees 
பேர் அவர் ஸ்டால் கிரேட்டர் தேன் எனி ஆஃப் தெம் தட்ஸ் அ கொஸ்டின் ரைட் அவர் ஸ்டால் கிரேட்டர் தேன் எனி ஆஃப் தெம் கமிங் ஃப்ரம் ஹியர் salary. once we get every department average salary we are comparing it with the employee salary okay well sir sharp okay first thing is you know right get this average salary from department right sir get average salary from the employee group employee group by department number okay and then write the actual query select star from em employee where average salary greater than any okay so any is the uh, uh, the keyword here Yes, any is the operator. Operator, any, yeah. Any, all, is, they are all operators. Greater than, less than, equal to operators. Like that, any is also an operator, which are used with sub-queries. We don't use them with normal queries. We use them only with sub-queries. Okay. Okay, gotcha. That's... greater than any of the department average salary so yeah. this is definitely a sub query yeah. it is returning multiple values yes so we are using an operator to return multiple values and yes. let's go back if there are multiple blanks in the table okay there are multiple blanks in the table and this sub query will return multiple employee numbers it will return employee numbers of all the blanks so where manager in becomes the best operator to be used in yeah in set of values you remember in operator maybe yeah. third class i did in operator equal to greater than less than in between like is null so yeah. in set of values okay yeah. so that's about okay sub query is returning single value sub query is returning multiple values now yeah. with sub query we can use operators like exist exist and not exist operator with sub query so what will okay. these operators do what will these operators do they will return true or false they will return boolean you know boolean values true or false true or false they return okay. yes true or false when will they return true when will they return false when the in a query the sub query has some output they return true mm -hmm. when they return true the outer query is going to work yeah when the in a query has no output when the in a query has no data they return false yes when they return false the outer query does not work Yes. Okay. So, yeah. how does it work on that way? So we are we are not comparing any column. We are not comparing any column. So select staff from EMP. Where exists? That's all. We simply say where exists. So it cannot be used on any column. Where salary greater than department number equal to job like this. We cannot use any column name here. We simply okay. say where exists. What exists? There is there any output in the inner query? So select anything. simply department number mm -hmm. from dpt where department name equal to sales do we have a sales department yes we do have a sales department so the inner query has some output because yeah. the inner query has some output the exist operator is going to return boolean true because it is returning boolean true the outer query is working else yes. the outer query would not have worked it would return it would not return anything can you please try this and trying yeah yes exist and not exist operators cannot be used to compare any column the name is going to say
Yeah, I got like 14 rows again, so yeah, they are. Yes, because there is sales department, all of the whole, what, what actually gets executed? This query, select staff from EMT is happening, that's all. Mm -hmm. There exists, what exists, you decide what is existing. Okay, uh, every, everything with the sales now, department, department name yes. sales, yeah. Wait, wait, see the change what I'm doing. I'm making the department name to be sale, S-A-L-E. Yeah. Is there a department by name S-A-L-E? No. So, the inner query has no output. Yeah, so there's no, no row selfish selected. Exactly, because yeah. the inner query has no data, the outer mm -hmm. query is not working, no yeah. row selected. Yeah. How can you say like, if the department name is null, can we say null? Pardon me? If the department name is null. Yes. 